Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a quadratic congruence. These types of problems are so much fun in number theory, so let's get started. We have x squared plus x plus 1 is congruent to 0, mod 49, and we're going to be finding the x values. Now what is that supposed to mean? Mod 49 means basically you're considering all remainders when you divide a number by 49. So you're talking about a set of all these numbers, 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 all the way out to 49. These are possible remainders. I'm not putting a bar over them indicating that they're remainders, just writing them in the, you know, loosely like this. So one method, obviously, which is not the best one, is you can just plug in all these numbers, test them, right? Is zero a solution? Is one a solution? Is two? So obviously, that's time consuming. So we're going to use a different method here. And uh, we're going to start by considering a lower mod. What is that supposed to mean? Well, 49 is 7 squared, and 7 is a prime number, so that's kind of good. Let's go ahead and consider the following congruence first. x squared plus x plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 7. Obviously, this one is much easier to solve, right? Because we're only dealing with 7 numbers, 0 through 6, and you can just test them quickly. So trial and error is definitely going to work, or you can use another method here, which I'm going to show you, which is kind of cool. Well, since 1 is congruent to negative 6 mod 7, I can just go ahead and write this congruent statement as follows. And now, this is easy to solve because this is factorable. And so I can just go ahead and factor this quadratic into x minus 2 times x plus 3. And from here, we get the solutions. So x is either 2 mod 7 or x is negative 3 but I can write it as 4 mod 7 because I'm allowed to add 7 or multiples of 7. Okay, so we're getting two solutions from here, but they are mod 7. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to pick each solution mod 7 and then use it to find the solution in mod 49. Okay, that's what, what I'm going to do next. So let's start with x, is, x equals 2 or congruent to 2, whatever you want to call that. So if x is congruent to 2 mod 7, that means that x is 2 more than a multiple of 7. So I can write it as x equals 2 plus 7k, where k is an integer. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do next is take this expression and plug it into my original congruence. So that was x squared plus x plus 1 is congruent to 0 mod 49. Let's go ahead and substitute. So if you substitute 2 plus 7k here and here, you're going to be getting an equation or congruence, another one. But let's go ahead and solve it. This one is going to be more fun to solve because we do have some 7s in it, which is going to be kind of nicer. So let's go ahead and square this expression. 4 plus 28k plus 49k squared plus 2 plus 1 is 3, so I can just write it as 3 plus 7k, and this is supposed to be congruent to 0 mod 49. Now, let me not write the 49 every time because you already know what it is. Now notice this, we have 49k squared, so this is 0 mod 49, obviously. We can just go ahead and simplify that, and let's just continue. This gives me 35k, and then 4 plus 3 is 7, so now we get this mod 49, and what, one of the things I can do is I can just factor out a 7, and this gives me 5k plus 1. Now, what is that supposed to mean? We have 7 times something, and the result is a multiple of 49. Therefore, 5k plus 1 needs to contain a 7, right? This, In other words, this means that 5k plus 1 needs to be 0 mod 7. So that way, you're multiplying two numbers, 7 times 7, and that becomes 49, which is 0 mod 49. Okay, great. This is an important result because now we can turn this into an equation. You know that we, if you have any type of congruence, you can always turn it into an equation. But of course, you have to use additional integers here. So let's go ahead and write it as, since 5k plus 1 is 0 mod 7, it means this is a multiple of 7. So let's go ahead and write it as 7m, where m is an integer. All right? So at this point, you can just solve this Diophantine equation, this is kind of like a linear Diophantine, and it's easy to guess and check because numbers are fairly small and it's not going to be that large. So, in this case, I noticed that 21 is 1 more than a multiple of 5. At the same time, it's a multiple of 7. 
Okay, so that means that k equals 4 is going to work with m equals 3. Now, I'm not that much interested in m here because k is more important. Remember, our assumption was x equals 2 plus 7k. So let's go ahead and write that down. x equals 2 plus 7k, and I just find k to be 4, so x is equal to, if you replace k with 4, you're going to get 2 plus 28, which is... Did I write 28? Okay. 2 plus 28, which is equal to 30. And I want to write my answer, obviously, in mod 49. So I'm going to be writing it as x is congruent to 30 mod 49. This means that any number in the form 30 plus uh, 49 something, you know, 49 times an integer, will be a solution to this congruence. So let's go ahead and find the other solution, if there is any and then we'll put it together at the end. Okay, now, what is next? Well, we also found that x can be 4 mod 7. So let's go ahead and use that one here. x is congruent to 4 mod 7. Okay, now what is that supposed to mean? Well, it means that you can write x as 4 plus 7n, where n is an integer. Again, you can turn the congruence into an equation by using an additional variable. Now. I'd like to substitute this into my original congruence, so let me rewrite it. x squared plus x plus 1 is congruent to 0, mod 49, and I'm, I would like to replace x with this expression here. Let's go ahead and replace x with 4 plus 7n squared 4 plus 7n plus 1 is congruent to 0. Now remember that this is a congruence mod 49 because that's our original problem. So we have to consider everything that way. 16 plus 56n plus 49n squared. Does that look familiar? We had that before and we canceled it out. Remember that. So this is supposed to be 0 mod 49. And obviously here, this is going to be 0 mod 49. And then let's put everything else together. 56n plus 7n. That's going to make 63n. And 16 plus 4 plus 1 is going to make 21. And this is, this is congruent to 0 mod 49. Now, 63 is greater than 49, so I can reduce it. If you subtract 49 from it, you're going to get 14n plus 21 is congruent to 0 mod 49 again. Now, again, li like the other solution, we can factor out a 7, and we should be getting 2n plus 3 is congruent to 0 mod 49. Let me just write it so you can remember. So this means that 7, uh, 2n plus 3 is a multiple of 7, right? So in other words, 2n plus 3 is 0 mod 7. So this is a multiple of 7. This is a multiple of 7. Their product is a multiple of 49. Makes sense, right? Okay. Now this gives us something nice because we can solve it. Well, well solution is not that straightforward, but here's one thing you can consider if you want. You can just write it as 2n is congruent to negative 3, and then add 7 to the right-hand side, write it as 2n is equal to 4 mod 7. This means n is equal to, I mean, congruent to 2 mod 7. Okay, and what is that supposed to mean? Uh, actually, I would probably write it as, okay, let's put it this way. I didn't mean to write it that way. So what, am I, what I'm trying to say here is that trying to find the integer n value. So if 2n plus 3 is congruent to 0 mod 7, that means that 2n plus 3 is a multiple of 7, so let's say 7 times t. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. So now, at this point, what I can do is, I can just, again, guess and check my solution here. Well, it's kind of easy to find because if n is equal to 2, we get 7, which is a multiple of 7. So n equals 2 works, which means that uh, our original expression, remember, we wrote x as 4 plus 7n, if n is equal to 2, then x is going to equal 4 plus 2 times 7, which is 18. And this means that x is congruent to 18 mod 49. Okay, so in, to keep a long story short, we have two solutions. One of them is this one, and the other one is this one. Let's go ahead and put it together, and that way we're going to be getting our solution set. So x is either 18 or x is 30 mod 49 and this brings us to the end of this video well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye